the issues that perhaps your excellency might want to take on along with your colleagues is that of ownership by the various communities. Because uh, just on uh, on Twitter now, Olagunji Oladeli, for instance, is saying that, you know, that all that he has heard so far uh, doesn't help inspire confidence. Uh, so now, perhaps that also begs the question of how is this Ibubea being communicated to the people in a way that they can take ownership of it? Because as you know, Nature abhors vacuum. The problem of this country is that people will leave their problems. You know, and I love them for that. I make your problems their problems. You know. But what some of these people are doing is to incite the Southeast into war and they will step aside. And we are not going to buy into that. We are not going to be deceived again. We have to manage our face. Whether it inspires confidence in him or not, it doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that our people will be satisfied with our efforts in protecting their lives and properties, mm. you know. Our people must be very careful, you know, and know that there are grand plans of people who have no interest in South East to incite them into war. And we are wiser than that. We will not buy into that. Now, the killings, the attacks that occurred in your state, for instance, I know you have spoken strongly about it, uh, and you did say when the vice president visited that a uh, solution needed to be found. But not long after that, there was another attack in some other areas. Could you give us an update? What is the current situation now? Well, the uh, uh, attack we had, the headsman attack, was just once, and we shared the local government. But what people are doing now is that if there is any conflict, it's easier for them to say the headsman. You know, and uh, we've come out strongly to debunk that. And we've come out strongly to let them know that some of these things, you know, will not, you know, um, provide the needed peace that our people need, you know, living outside South. This is very important. We have a conflict in our local, local government, which is a communal, uh, you know, conflict uh, between uh, two brothers. Uh, that has been ongoing, and it has spread over to Benue State, because some of our people are also living in Benue State. And um, just a few days ago, uh, the long age, you know, land dispute between the uh, the, the Hoku local government, Aguila, in uh, um, you know, in Benue State, uh, they came and attacked our people, and uh, a number of people were uh, killed and houses burned, you know, along the border. And it was very easy for people to jump to their Twitter and say that the headsmen came and attacked us. But one thing that was certain was that. The people that came to kill our people, you know, took one of uh, the pools, you know, of, uh, you know, uh, the indigenous of our local government. And when we caught on the pool, uh, the, the voice there was definitely not of uh, F man's uh, voice. And the, the man was saying that, um, you know, the owner of this phone has been killed and that they're going to do more killing as far as, uh, you know, we don't leave that land for them. So, but it has already gone, uh, you know, bad. I think even a channel reported as such. I hope I did it corrected. So these are the, some of the conflicts we have, you know. And it's been there for a very long time. I think the conflict in uh, that of Hufu uh, Axis has been there for over, uh, you know, 50 to 100 years.